Awesome. Hey YouTube, Dawson Ryder here with my review of the Deluxe Drive Max Megazord from Power Rangers Operation Overdrive. So, this is a pretty interesting case that I was sort of, I guess, looking forward-ish to talking about. It was just, it's interesting because this was one of the first times in the series we deviated from the Japanese mold. Because Mystic Force, we were still using it. This is the first time that I think we struck out on our own. And it's interesting not only because of that, but because nowadays we always do that. And not only do we always do that, but the molds we use now are almost always smaller. Whereas in this case, our mold was actually bigger and less detailed, and there was quite a bit of controversy. It was like the prequel to the classic fandom complaining about Bandai of America. But yeah, so it's a very interesting case. Um, let's just go ahead and uh, go over all these guys individually quick. There's not a whole lot to go over. Honestly, they're pretty basic. They hit the points they need to. Like I said, they're quite a bit larger. Well, that makes it sound like they're gigantic, but I mean, they're Japanese counterparts. Um, honestly, even back then, I was a bit of a heretic where I still think this is definitely a lesser quality than Daiboken, and I see why people were upset, but they're not that bad. They basically hit the, all the things they need to. The plastic does feel a bit cheaper, but it rolls, and it looks like the submarine, and it does what it needs to. I mean, it can't really be a submarine. And then you have yellows here, which this is one of the ones where you can definitely see it looking a bit more basic, um, a little bit more like a cheap discount line type deal, but still, it, it's hitting the main points it needs to, and I've certainly seen worse. Um, we got Black Ranger Zord here. This is one of the ones when you look at them side by side, looks a little bit cooler in Bokenger because it's got like some cooler details along here and stuff like that. Um, and then you got, uh, no, I'm just showing it's rolling, I was just doing it subconsciously. Then you got Blues here. This part here is going to be the helmet, spoiler alert, which actually has electronics in it. So, and because of the transformation, you can fold its little wings down and stuff like that. And then, of course, Reds is the largest portion of it. Um, again, um, I, f I can see for whatever reason red and yellow are the two that most look like it's some sort of, I don't know, like play school line or something um, that was a little bit cheaper looking, but I was never that mad at it. I could definitely see the quality dip, but it hits, like I, I, that's like the quote of this review, but it hit the main points it needed to in terms of design, and it was one of those ones where, I think I'm thinking about it also because it's one of those ones where some of the missing details aren't as noticeable. Like, this is kind of a different weird example because it's a Morpher instead of a Megazord, but the um, Silver Ranger's Morpher from Dino Charge, Titano Charge Morpher, had some noticeable paint apps because it was such an integral part of it, whereas this one, I didn't feel there was a whole lot that I was missing, uh, mainly because this also isn't one where I would really want to display them individually. But anyway, um, it does sort of have this little uh, truck mode where you kind of just, I'm just going to do it loosely. Uh, that was... I didn't even think about it. There we go. So we sort of just loosely, or I'm going to just loosely put it together. Um, and then you're supposed to like do it better than I'm doing it now, but um, you can do it. It's kind of lame for me. Like I was never a huge fan of this mode. So, and you can put the sword on the side. Speaking of, brilliant segue into the sword. It does come with a sword, which is pretty much fine. I think Bokenders was just lighter and could actually separate into the smaller pieces, which was admittedly cool, but this is a decent size. But anyway, let's go ahead and get this thing together in its Megazord mode. Um, red's going to be the main component, so basically you're going to pull this out. Uh, ow! That hurt. Uh, and you're going to fold these back. All the like joints and stuff on it are very tight in the folding, as you could just see. Uh, separate the legs. Dang. Those are some tight pegs. That is proving my point too good. Alright, I actually had to cut away to do that, so classic. All right, and then push this down. That's gonna pop out when you wanna transform it, and I believe rotate it around. I might have messed it up. I always, whenever I have to rotate anything, I always get inside my head about the amount of times you have to rotate it. Okay, so then snap this on the front, um, and then separate this, and this is just gonna go on the back. I actually don't remember if you need to fold those or not. I don't think you do. This just snaps right on the back. But you can fold it a little bit if you want. I just, I'm gonna not. Oh, it's uneven, of course. A classic me in this review. There we go. Okay. So for this, it's pretty easy. You basically just pull the fist out of here, and then I'm gonna pull those down. I can't remember if you're supposed to, to be honest. I think you're supposed to actually. This is like one of those small details I never think about. The joints on that are pretty tough. I actually like the way it looks like this, to be honest. So I'm gonna do that. I really don't care which way is right, but I think that looks cool. Okay, 
So yellow is a little bit more complicated, not really though. You basically just fold it out and sort of fold this into itself. And then where's the hand? Here we go. There you go. I'm gonna leave it like that because I like it like that. And the joints on this also, very tight. You can just tell by how much force I'm having to use to put that in there, which is a good thing. Let me snap that down. And where is it? There's the head. The head it slides on top. Just make sure you're not putting it the wrong way. And snap it on. There we go. And then let me put the sword in. There you go. And then I'm gonna sort of zoom us in here a little bit. Slowly, not on the crotch, not on the crotch camera, but just to see, here is. Wee. But yeah, that's pretty much about the it. Again, pretty basic, and it's one of those things that doesn't bother you as much until you start looking at pictures of Daiboken and stuff like that. But it's weird, like this is one of those reviews where I find myself getting in an argument with myself because I definitely see the quality dip and if you, um, you know, have the funds and you're coming to me saying, I don't know whether to get this or Daiboken, I could get either one, I would say get Daiboken even though it's smaller, it is better detail, it has some nicer features. But my point I think about this is, is it definitely is lesser in a lot of ways, not just compared to the Japanese counterpart, but compared to what we were getting previously in the Power Rangers line. But I don't think it was nearly as bad as it was, as it was made out to be. It basically just hit the main points it needed to, and I think its overall design sort of lent itself to that. It was, you know, it's mechanical, but it wasn't overly complicated and having these intricacies or really noticeable paint apps we were missing. So it made it easy for this one to be able to hit the points it needed to, and not much more. Um, it does have a little bit of sort of articulation with the legs and whatnot because of the way um, it's engineered and then obviously you saw there. So you can pseudo pose it which kind of reminds me of the way uh, the Ninja Steel Megazord is which is kind of a nice bonus as well. Um, the main thing that's going to be interesting to get into actually with this line is in the next Megazord review that follows this is how they handled the auxiliary zords which was definitely weird, kind of stupid, and yeah we'll get to that. But overall I think this Megazord is okay, got a bit of a bad rap, but still definitely uh, a step down, more so noticeable from the quality you were used to if you have been following this line chronologically in the past. But anyway, this was a weird review, I'm sorry about like sort of arguing with myself, like I can't even wait to get to how they handled the auxiliaries, um, but I really can to be honest. But anyway, that's about it, until next time, make sure you have the Rizzy Podcast at writersrangerambles.com, and of course don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Till next time, Dawson Ryder, signing out.